Good morning. Today we have headed down to the pretty border town of Peebles for a park run and a wee explore. Peebles is a historic market town and it's pretty much unsullied by modern developments which makes it a great place for a wee explore, a great place for a wee look around and it's got lots of really cool buildings like this church which sits at the end of the main street. The weather was a bit grey and miserable when we woke up, but I thought I'd take the opportunity while there was nobody about to get up early and do some drone footage to show you guys. So while I'd left my nice warm bed to go out to the cold and the damp and do a wee bit of drone footage, Bex was back in the van getting ready for the day. Yeah, right. Peebles is located in the heart of the Scottish borders, about an hour south of Edinburgh, and if you want to get there, your options are bus, drive or cycle, because there is no railway, well not since the late 1960s. Good morning, we're in Peebles this morning, about to do the park run, and then we'll have a wee wander around and show you what we find. And this week's leggings are the fluorescent hearts, which are always a pleasure to see. Come on Bex, give us a twirl. Not all war memorials are made of stone. This grove of trees was planted by a woman called Mrs Bucket in 1919 to commemorate the victorious conclusion. It wasn't very victorious for the millions of men who died, now was it? What's that sign you were just reading? Nothing, nothing at all. No, no, nothing, nothing interesting at all. Nothing. It wasn't a war memorial at all. People's Park Run is in Hay Lodge Park in Peebles, obviously, and it's uh, not our favourite. It's quite hilly, but we're here to give it a shot. It is very pretty. It's down by the river, so we're going to do the park run, and we'll see you guys afterwards for a wee explore. And here we are, 29 and a half minutes later, and it is done for another week. Oh, good. I can't it's, actually talk because I'm so out of breath. Yeah, this is the good bit because she can't speak. <laughs> uh, it's always good fun. It is a really enjoyable thing to do and you don't have to go fast, although somebody thinks that they do. It's a great start to your Saturday morning though. It's a great start to your Saturday morning and it's only 10 o'clock and we're done running. We can go exploring. And Come on, we're going for a loop round. The sun's shining. St Andrew's Cemetery is where you'll find what is thought to be the oldest building in the town, that is St Andrew's Tower. Now what you see here actually only dates back to 1858-ish when it was all restored, but there's been a church on the site going back to 600 AD when Christianity first came to peoples. This graveyard has a lot of these old skull and crossbone things. Skull and crossbones, not pirates, but remember you're going to die. Memento mori, and then the hourglass, the time is running out. The weather has certainly taken a turn for the better, and this wee local was out enjoying the sunshine, although he wasn't at all sure about the sight of our wee drone. And in every one of these graveyards, there are usually these little Commonwealth war graves. We have said before how much we admire what these guys do for the war dead. These graves are all very well looked after, very well tended, and uh, a fitting memorial to the men that served the country. Right, Bex has just found this one that's uh, really quite cool because if you look at the little skull, it's not like the other skulls. It's got the funny little zigzaggy thing at the top. It, uh, that's strange. And another thing that we've not seen before at the top, there's the hourglass, obviously, the passing of time, but there's also the hands. So uh, another thing that we need to find out what it actually means. We'll have to find out more about this symbol because it's appearing on quite a lot of the gravestones, isn't it? And once again, you can see there, although it's faded, memento mori. So they've all got the skull and crossbones and the hourglass. And it seems to be the other symbols that change with time, but we'll have to do some more research. We might do a very interesting video on that one day. <laughs> That'll be one for the absolute purists. So this gravestone is 1855. And we can see the angel on that one again. On the other side of the gravestone, Bex was just showing you. Again, you guessed it. Skull, crossbones, memento mori, blah, blah, blah. And in this video, you've seen a few of these skull and crossbones, but the outtakes reel will be hundreds because they are all over this graveyard. It is so cool. These are such nice and very old stones. I saw this gravestone earlier on, and you can see some of the words are spelt differently to how they would be today. So I don't know if that's a, an older form of the English language. I'm not sure. Here lies the body of Christian Rinnick, spouse to David Ruffles. Sadler. Ruffles Sadler in Peebles. But see that, it's not Peebles, it's, not it's Peebles, it's with a people, P. Peoples. 
And that is St Andrew's Graveyard and St Andrew's Tower. And that is quite enough graveyards for one video. So now we're going to go and do something else. I think we should maybe go and have a wee explore. How does that sound? Fancy that idea? Let's go. We've got De Niro out the van and now we're going to go for a wee explore. There's an old railway path here and an old railway tunnel and a castle. So it's a place that is well worth a wee look. And after a foggy and cold start to the day, it is now blue skies and sunshine. Yay! De Niro and Bex are going for a run. We're trying to train De Niro so he can do park run because just now he just goes sprinting for about 20 paces and then stops. It's not much good for trying to run five kilometers. But then people always think that greyhounds are great runners and they are, but only over a short distance. They have got no stamina. They can go very fast for 200 meters and then they sleep for the rest of the day as we keep proving. He is a happy looking dog, isn't he? So this is the old railway line that you can see is going that way and back that way into Peoples. All long gone now, shut down in the late 1960s. It is now just a footpath. This is one of those great paths that just suddenly stops. So we're now going to go up this hill and see if there's another path up here because there is an old railway line, there is an old railway tunnel and there is a castle. Please, trust me. Oh yeah, there's the path that we should be on down there. So, uh, yeah, looks a bit muddy, but that's the railway path down there. I've just been talking nonsense. So all the stuff I told you about that being the railway path, just uh, just repeat it all again. This is actually the railway path. Edinburgh closed, 1960s, blah, blah, blah. Anywhere gets a boost of prettiness from the sunshine, but Peebles is quite a pretty place, and this is quite a nice looking park. Especially if you want to take your dog and let him play in the river. We could try that with De Niro, but as we know, he would stand at the side and not even get his paws wet. And here we have our favourite sort of dark, mysterious tunnel that we're going to go for a wee look through. This is going to be quite dark and probably not great television, so we'll, uh, we'll probably see you guys on the other side. This is uh, dark and quite horrible, but it's not hugely long, although there is things dripping down our neck, so let's put the torch on. This is, uh, as I said, not great television, it is pitch black. It's, uh, dragon. it's what a dragon. That means. Uh, I wouldn't imagine there are any dragons in a railway tunnel in Peebles. I never know. Do I have to walk back this way? Yep. Oh, don't like it. Oh, yeah. don't Stop like it. whining. There is a light at the end of the tunnel that you keep hearing about. It's not getting any closer and things keep dripping down the back of our necks. Yeah. Well, we made it safely through the tunnels and Bex didn't get eaten by a dragon and when you get through the tunnel the next thing you encounter is Needpath Viaduct which is very nice. And this is one of the finest skew arch bridges in Scotland. What a skew arch bridge is I've got no idea but it was built in 1864 and closed in 1954 so not even a hundred years of use and it's a very very impressive structure. I don't know if skew arch is just because the arches don't go straight through. That could be it. They're all at an angle. I've no idea why. Water flow or lifespan or something. No idea. But it's a very, very nice bridge. So there it is. We think it must just be that the fact that the arches don't go straight through the bridge. They're at an angle to the way the bridge is going. Why they did that, I have no idea. We will have to do a bit of research and find out. And we might let you know or we might cut this bit out so you never hear that we even thought about it. And it turns out the reason the bridge was built with skew arches is so that the tunnel that we've just been through aligns with the railway line, otherwise they wouldn't meet and that would have been a bad thing. So the bridge does not cross the river directly, it goes at this jaunty angle. Oh, De Niro has got his lead wrapped round his leg and realised that he can actually still walk, it's not the end of the world. Oh no, he can't, he's stuck again. Do you want to go and rescue the greyhound? <laughs> oh, look at that! Okay, so we have done our little drone bit with the bridge and got some nice pictures of that for you guys and now we're going to go and find the castle which is not a very exciting castle in terms of ruins and exploring because it's still in use as a wedding venue. Probably not a very cheap wedding venue but I bet it's very, very nice. <laughs> The present Needpath Castle dates back to the 14th century, although there was a fortification here going back to the 1200s. And you can see why. It completely controls this little valley, and if you want to get into or out of Peebles, you are going to be seen by the people in this castle. It's had some famous visitors, including in the 1500s, Mary, Queen of Scots. This is pretty cool. This is a big corner of a lump of masonry, a very, very large lump of masonry. And if you want to know where we think it came from, all you've got to do is look up because that castle is missing a massive chunky corner. So the chunky corner of the castle fell off and they have left it lying there. 
yeah, I've about out of puff, got to run back and film all that again because I didn't realise I just filmed it on my phone in sort of portrait mode, not landscape mode. So it was naked for YouTube. I had to go back, film it again, but at least this time I'd already rehearsed what I was going to say. And there in the distance is a lady in a bright pair of leggings and a greyhound. I better go and catch up with them because I have been too busy filming bits of castles and talking about castles because, well, I quite like castles. Back in the park, it was nice to see De Niro making friends. And Bex is in her coffee-seeking mode, so we're coming into the theatre for a cup of coffee and a blether. A what? This is the town's, believe it or not, war memorial. We saw this last night from outside and didn't know what it was, but it's very grand and very ornate. They're not usually uh, quite this impressive, quite this pretty, quite this over the top, gosh, gaudy, whatever you want to call it. A slightly interesting fact about this, if you find it interesting, is the people are not listed by their regiment or their rank, they are listed by the town that they came from, Eddleston, Inner Leithen, Peebles, Stobo, etc. Okay, this is Peebles Museum uh, and uh, there's nothing here to show you. The oldest thing in this museum is me. Do you want to buy some nice egg cosies? You can have the whole set for a mere four and a half thousand pounds. This is not lots of negatives and slides on wire. It's something to do with teaching. If you want it, it's only eight hundred and fifty pounds. Bargain. I have no idea what this is. It's uh, interesting. It's what it is. Although personally, I just didn't get some of the art. Bex seemed to be quite enjoying herself, but then again, she's cultured and I'm clearly not. It's a special exhibition of art and textiles, not a museum. It's a shame because we like a museum, but I'm not overly fussed about special exhibitions of art and textiles. According to the big sign outside, there is a museum here, but we must have missed it, which almost definitely says more about us than it does about the museum. It's probably quite good, and we'll be back at some point in the future to check it out. And this is the town's old Market Cross, because Peebles is, of course, the Borders Market Town. So that is the original 14th century cross, so they say no idea, but it certainly looks very old. As well as being a pretty place to visit and a pretty wee market town, Peebles is also a royal borough. And to find out more about that, what we need is a wee bit of history. A royal borough is a district or a town that's been given a royal charter by the king or queen. Now, they don't actually legally exist anymore, but some places are still very proud of their status as a former royal borough and use it. And Peebles is one of those places. It's a royal borough at Peebles, although there's not been a, such a thing as a royal borough since 1975. Peebles' status as a royal borough goes back to the granting of its royal charter by King David in 1152. So this is a status that goes back a long way and the people of the town are justifiably quite proud of. A bit more Scottish history. When David II was taken by the English in 1346, the Scottish Parliament met here to discuss what they were going to do about it. So this is Parliament Square. That is uh, not hugely impressive. Next stop on this little adventure is the Great Polish Map of Scotland, which is a great map of Scotland made by Poles. This is going to be quite cool. We've often driven past this, never stopped. Today we are going for a look. And the Great Polish Map of Scotland is up beside this rather grand looking old building that is now another grand looking hotel. <laughs> and we just had to walk right through a wedding to get to the path that takes us across to the map. That was uh, an experience. Lots of people in kilts and all their finery and me and Bex in our running gear and De Niro in his uh, full De Niro-ness. Oh well, it's a bit of a hike but we're still on the right road. But this is where the drone is going to come into its own. This was made for a drone. Except when this was made, drones didn't exist. <laughs> The map is in the grounds of Barony Castle, so we thought, while we had the drone up, we might as well have a wee look at the castle itself, and as you can see, it's very impressive. It's a grand, grand old building. We, we told you we were here for a bridal party, and uh, the part of the bridal thing is alpacas, and there's two alpacas, and there's De Niro, who is not at all <laughs> sure. <laughs> look at them. Look oh, how cute are they? They're gorgeous, aren't they? Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, that's a oh. greyhound. Oh, 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 there we go. De Niro, meet some alpacas. Yeah, there. I think we're, uh, we're holding <laughs> you back. Bye, guys! We're heading back now to Mabel, and as you can see, we've got to take De Niro, having met the alpacas, back through the wedding party. Lots of men in kilts who probably don't want the greyhound hair all over the nice kilts. So, uh, 
hope this all goes okay. Wish us luck. This hotel is an amazing building. It must have been some size of a house when it was one man's private residence. Okay, while we're here, we're going to be a bit brave and we're going to go for a look at this big, what is now a hotel, but was once just a big manor house. It's uh, quite a large building. There's more bits down there which are all obviously quite old. And this is the core of the original building. And you can see the sign there that says, prepare to meet a thy god. <laughs> well, that's been quite an unusual uh, end to the day. A giant concrete map of Scotland, a massive stately home, a Scottish wedding party, and two alpacas and a friendly greyhound. So that, uh, that's been an experience, uh, a shoestring experience to be remembered, that one. I don't know if the alpacas had ever met a greyhound before, but the greyhound had definitely never met the alpacas. They were so cool. I really liked those. The sort of dopey stoner expression was just uh, really nice. Bex and De Niro lead the way back to Mabel. We are now going to head back up to Edinburgh. That's us finished our tour of Peebles. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you come along next time for more Scotland on a shoestring. And if you have enjoyed this, please remember to like and subscribe and all that gubbins and tell your friends and your family and people you don't like and people you work with and people that live next door to you and everybody. Tell them about Scotland on a shoestring and let's build this channel because we love doing this for you guys. The more of you that come along, the more we can do. Thank you very much for watching.